Hey, Dasa here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a guided meditation to become more intimate and familiar with your own speech organ, the different articulators in your mouth. Now, to quickly ground ourselves again, our goal here as language learners is to experience a sense of belonging and flow in a cultural environment, a linguistic environment, by fitting our senses and our motor movements and our attention and cognition to the patterns of that culture. And in order for us to do that, we need to develop the skill of moving our body in the right way at the right time. Now the question is, what part of our body are we moving? Well, obviously our mouth, right? We're capturing these movements with our ears, storing them in our brains and reproducing them with our mouth. But the mouth is infinitely complex. I can zoom in deeper into my mouth and become more aware. And that's what we're gonna do here in this exercise. It's gonna be a mindfulness exercise, a meditation exercise, because we're gonna be directing your attention through different parts of your body. So if you've ever done a, a guided meditation before where the guide moves your direction, you move your attention to your breath and maybe different parts of your body, same thing, but now we're just going to focus on the inside of our mouth. And we saw another recent video you know, when we learn a new movement, a new sound, we're trying to coordinate our different senses of audition or hearing with the visual, visual with the kinesthetic, etc. What we really care about here is the kinesthetic. That's what we're focusing on here, trying to get the feeling of movement in our own body without having to see it or even hear it. Okay, so I'm going to have you follow along now. Uh, it's going to seem weird, but get over it. You're going to start with our lips, and I want you just to look at my lips and mimic what my lips are doing. All right, great. Once you've gotten that movement, now you're going to close your eyes and continue to do this. All right, so close your eyes and continue to do it, and then I'm gonna direct your attention to what to pay attention to. Keep that movement going. All right, keep it going. Now, notice the sensation of tension in your lips while you do this. Now notice the difference in quality and location of that tension based on what position your lips are in. You should notice when your lips are spread, you feel tension at the corner of your mouth. And when your lips are pursed, you feel tension inside of your lips. So these are two different muscle groups being potentiated here. See if you can distinguish those two sensations inside of your mouth. Keep it going for a little bit longer. All right, great. So we'll stop there and talk about that. When you've not cultivated a conscious awareness over a part of your body, it all kind of blends together into a blur. So my lips and my tongue and everything, blah, blah, blah. right? So this movement here, if you did that exercise right, you're starting to paint a clear, higher resolution picture in your conscious landscape of the muscles here and the muscles here as being different, differently, different feeling, but also a feeling of location, how it relates to the rest of your body, right? The lips in here, the cheek out here. So that same principle we're gonna apply to other parts of our mouth now. Um, we're gonna try to feel our tongue. We usually feel our tongue as one whole unit. We're gonna break it down into different parts now. So first I want you to make this uh, sound yeah, yeah, and then try to do it without moving your lips. Spot check yourself with a mirror or camera if you need to, but try not to move your lips or your jaw. Keep them in one fixed position, but still make that yeah sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So keep at that. When you think you've able to successfully move that yeah sound without moving your lips to your jaw, then what I want you to do is stop making the sound and just go like this. So 
So I'm still moving my tongue to, as if I'm making the sound. I'm doing the movement, but I'm not making the sound. And I can go back and forth to check. Yeah. Yeah. All right, great. So when you have that movement, now close your eyes and continue that movement. And we're gonna, we're gonna bring our attention into the feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Now silent. All right, great. Now keep doing that. Bring your attention to the feeling inside of your tongue when you do that. Notice the feeling of tension and notice the feeling of movement. Note where the starting movement is. Note where the ending movement is. And then try to feel the path between those two points. Get an ever clearer picture of the tongue in your mouth. Now see if you can notice tension anywhere else in your mouth face region. A second source of tension. You might feel it a little bit deeper in your tongue, at the base of your tongue. If you feel another tension in the base of your tongue, move your attention, attention, back and forth between the first one in the inside of your tongue and that second one at the back of your tongue at the base. Play around with that, try to get a really clear picture and separation between those two feelings. Okay, cool, stop and relax. Great, so our tongue is a very dexterous, very dense, um, multi-use muscle. And it has a lot of motor neurons in there. We can move it and shape it and bend it in very different ways. So we're gonna try to get a higher resolution picture in our kinesthetic map of that tongue. And we're gonna bring in also a tactile stimulation now. So the kinesthetic sense is your sense of position and motion of your body and space. And tactile is the sense of touch, which has multiple forms. There's pressure, there's thermoception. We're just gonna focus on just that general category of just touch. What I want you to do is make this sound Great. Now, I want you to prepare to make that sound, but instead, but do not release the air. Go and build it up, but then don't release. And if you do that, to create that sound, you're actually using the tip of your tongue and pressing it up against the gum line. So there should be two distinct sensations of pressure pressure of your gum line on your tongue and the pressure of your tongue on your gum line. You have touch receptors in your tongue and in your gum line. This will be very difficult, so I'll give you a minute to feel it out. Press your tongue in that position and adjust the pressure up and down, play with the pressure, and close your eyes again and bring your attention to try to differentiate the sensation of touch in your tongue from the sensation of touch inside of your roof of your mouth. When you first try this, it will show up to you as the same thing. You're like, what's this guy talking about? You're like, I just feel this feeling. Keep paying attention deeper, play around, adjust, look for it. If you look for it, you will find it. You'll start to sense like, oh yeah, I guess that's more of my tongue, right? And you can move your tongue around the different places. And notice that the tongue pressure, if I keep that tongue going and I kind of rim around on the gum line, 
that pressure on the tongue stays constant, but then now I'm feeling different places of my gum line. All right. Or if I press my tongue, tip of my tongue against the gum line, and then try to use different parts of my tongue on that same point. Now I can feel different parts of my tongue. The tongue has way more touch receptors than the gum line, so it's easier for you to focus on feeling in the tongue first. So play around with that a little bit longer. Um, just explore that space a little bit of just the tongue on the gum line and the pressure there. I'll give you like 20 seconds to feel that. Okay, now I want you to mimic this sound. So alternating between a t and a ch, right? And then once you have the sound, stop making the sound and just try to make the pressure and place your tongue in those positions like this. Yeah, as if you're going to make it, but you don't make it in the end. And keep doing that. And then before I tell you what's going on, just go back and forth bring your attention to your kinesthetic sphere, tactile sphere, and feel the distinction between those two. Notice how for the t, you're using the very tip of your tongue. Whereas for the ch, you're using a deeper part of your tongue. Now, notice how that deeper part of your tongue has to reach to a higher point, a further distance from the ground than the first one, as it's going up in the roof of your mouth. Notice now you have two parts of your tongue that kind of have two autonomous muscle groups. My tip and that part. Now just move that, move that part kind of around to get different sounds. And then go to your tip again. Just kind of move that around the space and go back and forth between those two explorations. And now what used to be just a single tongue doing its thing now has at least two different parts that we can control and move around separately, right? So you don't have two tongues. I'm gonna give you a third tongue to wrap up here. Make this sound. Like car, car, Carla, keep, um, carry. Okay. Now, make that sound or prepare to make that sound, but again, do not release the air. Just build up the pressure. And once you can figure that out, hold that position, hold that pressure, and then bring your attention to your tactile. Once again, there's the feeling of pressure on the tongue and the feeling of pressure on the roof of the mouth. See if you can move your tongue around in that pressure position and just feel out that space. You might notice a kind of roughness because that part of your tongue has um, different kind of, not taste buds, I don't think, but different kind of things that come out of it. They're kind of rub 
and create friction with your with that roof of your mouth. Also, the part of the mouth you're coming in contact with is softer, the soft palate. So fill that out for a little bit. And now we're gonna run through these three different, this is another different part of the tongue. So I have go between then don't make any sound. try to differentiate those two positions, those two feelings kinesthetically. All right, now go back and forth between no sound. Let's go back and forth through all three points. Silently. All right, great. Cool, so that is our mouth meditation for today. Um, to review, we distinguish between the feelings of our lips going from to we distinguished tactile sensation from kinesthetic sensation. Uh, we separated the tongue into at least three parts so we can separate it more and develop how to control each part independently and moved around through those things. Now, this is just one meditation, but I highly encourage you to explore your own mouth throughout the day. This is how you get really good at language. All we're doing once again is moving our mouth at precise moments in time. So in previous exercises, we developed your capacity to dispose your attention precisely into different moments of time, namely the beginning of each syllable. Now we're disposing our attention to through our different senses and primarily our sense of position and movement, our kinesthetic sense, also known as proprioception, moving that within our tongue and now when you listen to people and you want to capture store reproduce or mimic what they're saying now you have more awareness and what control of what you can change to actually achieve that effect okay so i hope you enjoyed this mouth meditation i practice using my guided meditation voice i hope you found it pleasant and soothing and that you will join us for our next video at the Mimic Method.